What's going on, people? It's Timmy Joe making videos about computers on the internet. But unfortunately, like the rest of the freaking world, everything's come to a grinding halt because of the the coronavirus, the human malware, whatever. I don't know if we're allowed to say it on YouTube or not. And I'm hoping this might get some views because it's something that needs to be said. So uh, I was not a believer that this was a big problem. This coronavirus or COVID nineteen. Whatever that is. You get what I'm talking about, right? Kids freaking got two weeks after March break, which is a week off of school. So three weeks he's going to be home. And canceling a bunch of stuff. The NBA is canceled, which is like my Raptors' favorite thing to do right now is watch the Raptors. We bought tickets in April to go see them. And that's not going to happen, so I'm pretty sad. But uh, I was kind of arguing with my wife a little bit about how this wasn't such a big deal. She works at a health, like our health unit in our local town. She's just an accountant there. Not, she's not like a nurse or anything. But she was saying it's actually a little bit bigger deal than I was making it out to be. So last night I did some research, which is something you should do too. And I will uh, link a video in the description by this guy Chubby Emu. If you've never heard of him, he does like doctor videos on YouTube where it's like, a woman ate cookie dough for 35 years and this is what happened to her spleen. Pretty good videos. They're pretty hard to watch sometimes because of how like medically graphic they are. They make me feel, yeah. but they're cool information. Anyways, he's a real doctor. He did a whole podcast explaining the origins of this thing coming right from China. Since SARS-2 can spread through airborne droplets, it goes into the lungs first. What kind of cells in the lungs have ACE2? It's the cells that line the lower lobes of the lungs called epithelial cells. This gives the virus access to the cells to replicate. Where else in the chest is there a lot of human ACE2? The heart. In the critically ill, the virus may end up in the heart due to the proximity and cardiopulmonary interaction that is heart to lung. The heart pumps blood to the lungs to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. If the virus gets into the blood, then it's for sure going to go to the kidneys and the liver. Both of those have ACE2, which could explain TH's possible liver dysfunction and need for dialysis, as the virus may have gotten there. And it woke my eyes up. Uh, it's a respiratory thing. It's not just a common flu, and it can really mess people up, especially if they have pre-existing conditions, or they're old, or they're not generally healthy. And it made me realize that this isn't some flu that I can ignore and it'll just go away. This is something we need to worry about a little bit if it gets around here. So I thought I would spread this message as well as maybe there's a way you can help with your damn computer. So check out the video in the description if you want to kind of know more about it and maybe open up your eyes to where this actually is a big deal because I know I was ignoring the crap out of it for a while. But I'll show you how you can help with folding at home. So come on with me over to my computer and I'll show you what I mean. Alrighty, so sorry if you can hear it. My computer is literally doing the work as hard as it can uh, beside me here. And I'm setting up um, on my gaming computer to do it, which has a 2080 Ti, which should really help out. It can use CPU and GPU resources. It can use multiple GPUs if you have them installed in your system. So you can go and install this and start really working. I'll even do it with my computer downstairs. It's got a 1080 Ti in it, so I'll have a 2080 Ti, a 1070 Ti, and a 1080 Ti all doing some work in my house for this thing. Why the hell not? So there is a website here if you want to go check out the specifics. I'm no doctor, but essentially we need your help at Folding at Home, and they're joining researchers around the world working to better understand the 2019 um, to accelerate the open science effort to develop new life-saving therapies. Essentially, they're having a hard time figuring out how to stop this thing from sticking to the goody parts of your lungs because of the kind of thing, virus it is. So you can help them figure out why it's doing what it's doing, and uh, this is what we're going to do. So you go ahead, you can read this. It's got all kinds of good information on what the thing's doing. But uh, essentially, you install a client off this website. Once it's installed, you should get a web page open up like this. And uh, I will say that it did not like Chrome on either of the two computers I've started this up on, uh, and it would just perpetually refresh this page. You might have to go and grab that client.foldingathome.org link and put it into Edge, and then it works seemingly fine in Edge. So you get this identity screen, you can create a username, which will link some real world cryptocurrency type points that you could technically turn into cash, 
to help pay for the power that you're going to be consuming. There's no way you're going to make any sort of real money off of this, but it is a little added bonus. You can also get a pass key here. Whoops, my username being Watch Timmy Joe. Anyway, so you can put that pass key in there and that actually is like really your username. The problem being is when I've clicked get a pass key, I filled this in three different times and it never sends me the email. So we're just giving up on that for now. Anyways, so uh, create a, let's say a really unique username. That way you know your points will stay with you because if there's going to be points, you might as well keep them. Hit save and then this is what it should look like and you can in this interface on the web change the power it's consuming. You can hit it light and it's going to very lightly hit the resources on your computer. Medium will probably not make your graphics card run full tilt. I've got it running on full just to see how much work it can really do and currently I am uh, using GPU Zero which is a 1070 Ti and I'm doing something that's 20% done and it's showing that I'm literally working on this, this thing here. Okay. Okay, but uh, if you go up here, the cert, uh, I support researching the fight against, they've got different diseases here, Alzheimer's, cancer, Huntington's, hit any disease, the any disease one right now is essentially all the Burma virus. So human malware, whatever anyone's calling it. So as long as you leave it on any disease, that's what should be doing it right now. So this is what this looks like. But let's say you want to get a little deeper. You can go into your taskbar, right click this and go advanced control open that up and it will bring this open and then this is where you can really fine-tune things if you don't want it using your cpu resources you can go into configure and here's where you would change that identity stuff but uh this slots thing is essentially the hardware doing work in your computer i can go into the cpu here and i've actually set the number of cpu threads that i should use to one because i don't want it ever using my cpu threads if i'm editing a video i don't want it stealing those resources i don't typically use the graphics card on this for anything more than hardware acceleration while i'm video editing so it can go ahead and use the resources on that all you want for sure so hit over there and you go into gpu you can change some preferences in there but uh yeah this is essentially the same thing as this web interface but it's a lot more windows centric looks there and you can change the uh you know here and then you can even hit this viewer thing and it actually pops up some cool looking sciency diagram on what your computer's doing right now so it's pretty cool i don't know some protein demo it looks cool to click that i don't know some proteins are dancing around your screen I don't know a whole lot about this program. I'm just saying we can help fight this thing using your computer. So that's pretty much where I'm at with this. I'm going to go ahead and set up all my available computers to run this for a little while. Why the hell not? It's probably going to get annoying after a while running it at full tilt, but I'll still leave it running at medium or whatever and uh, keep my computers from sleeping so that it can help with this. Uh, and look at that. I'm going to receive 101,000 points a day. So whatever that equates to in real money, I'll probably never convert it to cryptocurrency or whatever. So that's the folding at home project. And I thought that I would bring this up to you guys so you kind of can see what you can do with your computers to help the situation. And I also wanted to share my bits of wisdom that I, I thought this was kind of all BS until I watched that video from Chubby Emu and he does a, it takes like 30 minutes to get through or I think it was even longer than that, but it really opened my eyes to how bad this could be if like it really started affecting your areas and how bad it has been in China and why it is so you know, like worrying why it is so like crazy that this is happening right now, why it is that you should pay attention to it. And uh, yeah, so I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Go download Folding at Home. Do your part to help out with the coronavirus. And uh, use your gaming PC to help fight it. It's a, it's a worthwhile thing to do. It takes like five minutes to set up and some power and CPU cycles from your computer. But you can get it going and that might help you know, someone elderly or someone with some respiratory problems that ends up getting this thing around you. And then you can feel good about yourself knowing at least you contributed something. <laughs> Anyways, I'm at watching me join Instagram, Twitter. Be safe out there. Content's going to be a little slow while I've got the monster home for the next couple weeks. I'm sure you'll understand. It's almost getting spring looking outside. So here's hoping that this all just burns away and <laughs> maybe global warming can warm this thing up a little bit. We can get some summertime going and then we can worry about putting a lot of SPF on because of the other things that are problems in our anyways at watch Timmy Joe Instagram Twitter don't freak out too too much don't bow by all the toilet paper 
but be safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in another video.